Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be answering the question, can you save Hosea Matthews from dying during the bank robbery heist mission in Chapter 4? And also, what happens if you decide to loot him during that mission as well? So this all takes place in the final mission of Chapter 4, and that is banking the old American art. And you start this by talking to Dutch and Hosea, who are sitting at a table on the first floor of the Shady Bell house, and this is what they're talking about. I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I don't like it. It's the right plan. We've done the work. I've been in town looking, watching, and, and waiting. I've, I've tested it as well as I can. It's the right plan. I know. I just... Well, between you and me, I'm nervous, I suppose. I suppose that's it. You're never nervous. That's been my job all these years. I know. <laughs> You're sure? Certain. <sighs> well, not certain it will be done, but certain it can be done. <laughs> and certain this is the only way I see we can do it. I've timed it out more than once. Well, you're the expert. Jim? Look, the bank. Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city, they're police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying, it's as good a plan as any. I, th I think I agree. When we do it at night, there's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. Pick us off far easier. I know. I'm I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone, get ready. Look smart. Travel light. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! Yeah! <laughs> So essentially what the gang is going to do now is rob the State of Lemoyne National Bank, which is in San Denis. And this is supposed to be the one last final bank robbery that the gang does so that they can eventually get on a tropical island and go to Tahiti. And basically what happens is the gang is split up into two groups. You've got Hosea and Abigail, which are going to create the diversion. And you actually see them right ahead of everyone else in the gang. And then you have everyone else, like the Muscle, Arthur, Dutch, John, uh, Micah, Javier, Bill, Charles. They're all going to go inside of the bank. And everything looks to be going pretty smoothly. As soon as you actually arrive in San Denis, you see the diversion that Hosea and Abigail end up creating, which is some sort of like explosion that occurs a, a couple of blocks away. And then from there, what you have to do is go inside the bank and basically rob it. And the robbery looks like it's going pretty smoothly at first. And eventually Arthur and Dutch get access to the bank vault, which is their objective. They end up getting the combinations for the safe. But as soon as that happens, something goes wrong. Come on, kid. Let's go. Okay. I think we got a problem out here. Come out! It's over! Shit! Abigail! Dutch! Get out here! Get out here now! Someone must have squealed! You never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! Or folks, 
They are gonna get shot unnecessarily. Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains, no more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on! Now, after that happens, Arthur basically has to start shooting the rest of the Pinkertons that are surrounding the bank. But the rest of the gang will comment on Hosea's status, and this is what they have to say. You also might notice that there is an X on the map, and that is because Hosea is dead. Unfortunately, there is no way to save him. I mean, he dies in a cutscene that should have been pretty obvious. Uh, you might remember we tried a similar experiment with Lenny. The reason we were able to try that and have some sort of optimism is because Lenny is the only character in Red Dead Redemption 2 that dies outside of a cutscene, which we'll actually see later in this video. Now, one thing I tried was during this point in time, you actually can't leave the bank. You can't jump through the windows. You can't actually go through the front door. You have to wait till this cutscene occurs when uh, Arthur is basically called by Dutch. Arthur, you alive? Get the pod! Get over here! How did they know? There's gotta be a rat! You really wanna talk about this now? We're getting killed here! There's no way that we're getting out of that door. Take this and blow a hole through that wall. So what Arthur has to do now is plant some dynamite on the wall and basically blow a hole through the side of the bank. And once he's done that, this is when you have the opportunity to go check in on Hosea to actually see what he might have. Now, most people will probably not do this. In fact, I had never done this before. This is my first time doing it. So instead of going up onto the roof, we're going to go out into the front of the bank. So basically, all you have to do is sort of vault over that gate and you can get access to the front of the bank. And you can see Hosea is lying there. You have two options to pick him up or loot him. I decided to loot him. And when you loot Hosea, this is what I got. So I got negative honor. I got $2 and one penny. I got a gold plated buckle and that was it. And I was also able to pick up Hosea as well. Now I'm not sure if this is a glitch or a bug, but the Pinkertons literally could not hit me. Like, I was just standing here with Hosea slung over my left-hand shoulder, and these Pinkerton agents could not hit me at all. So I don't know if they just didn't expect, like, the character to be outside of the bank, like what we were doing right here, or if it was a glitch, or if they were hitting poor Hosea with all the bullets. But either way, eventually what happens is Dutch ended up dying. So I failed the mission not because I had died or that something had gone wrong. It was that it had taken too long and Dutch had ended up dying. So I wanted to see if we could go back and do this again. What we sort of learned from this is that uh, Hosea doesn't have any particularly interesting items on him. We've tried to loot other characters like Cornwall and Agent Milton. And they were sort of in the same boat. They didn't have anything unique on them like an item or a document. So we tried this again, and this time when I looted Hosea, we got something a little bit different. This time we got some items that made a, a bit more sense too. We got a gold wedding ring, which might have been Hosea's uh, and Bessie's wedding ring, Hosea's uh, wife who ended up passing away, and a cigar. I don't know if I've ever seen Hosea smoke a cigar, but we know the gang members do all the time. So maybe that's just something that we found on his person. Now this time, the Pinkertons had no problem landing some shots on me as I died very, very quickly. So this time, the Pinkertons were just able to take me out, no problem. That's why I thought that first time might have actually been a glitch. I wanted to try this for a third time to once again see if we could get some more items off of Hosea. This time, it was a gold-plated buckle and it was some snake oil, and that's it. And this time, what I did is I actually you know, thought what would happen if we just walked away from the entire situation. If Arthur just carried Hosea all the way down the block, well, the Pinkertons don't actually chase after us, but eventually, as you sort of get towards the train station and the statue, uh, you'll get another failed message saying the gang was actually abandoned. 
So you can't just walk away with Hosea and leave everyone high and dry. And I also tried this a fourth time just to see what he might have. The same thing here, a gold-plated buckle and the snake oil. So interesting that we got those two things uh, on back-to-back -back occasions right there. So this is actually a really fun experiment, and I learned a couple of things. Uh, number one, I was 99.9% .9 confident that you couldn't do anything to save Hosea. He dies in a cutscene. I think it's fairly obvious that there would have been no way to stop that from happening. Unlike Lenny, who you can kind of save, but then he like awkwardly dies. Uh, again, we've covered that in previous videos. But number two, I did not know that you could actually go out front of the bank and loot Hosea. That's pretty cool. And he doesn't have anything specific on him. There's no like letter to the gang. There's no like photo of him and his wife or anything like that. But it was cool to try this out. And again, I like doing experiments like this just to see what new things we can find and things we can figure out. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know in the comments down below or better yet, reach out to me on my Facebook page if you have any other fun experiments or mysteries that we should try in Red Dead Redemption 2 here on the channel. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.